Oh, come on, dude. Let's make home bread by your own self. Namaste. Now we're going to make a whole uh, wet grain bread. It's going to be with one package of this active dry yeast. And there is one cup of brown sugar here. And uh, we are going first to use the brown sugar and to use a little bit of warm water, look warm water, very little bit. It doesn't uh, doesn't has to be so much because we are going to mixture it with the yeast. If you put too much water, it's not going to get spongy. Come and see here, this place. Look. It has a lot of sugar and there is low when we get this it's just like no, it need more. Okay. so this is going to get like a, a consistency as a the thing that we need to use to clean the dishes it has to be a little bit more warm so we are going to put a little bit of heat here but look how it's reacting it's starting to change the consistency it's getting more um, thick okay. and the thing is that I used warm water in the sugar but the sugar was cold so I, I had it would be better to use a, a little bit warmer water so when it's mixed with the sugar it's in the proper temperature it's it's changing the the consistency and my hand is making it a little bit hotter come and see it's now getting a little bit more thicker you see mm -hmm. it can be it can take more thicker than this it's not uh, any kind of trouble but uh, this is already working with my hand here I'm making it a little bit hotter now this was just an emergency mm -hmm. exit to put the yeast on a warm temperature now it's uh, on the proper temperature and we're going to rest it on the oven for like five to ten minutes and the oven is just like Maybe 100, 120 degrees. Right. Not much there more than this. Yeah. It's like you're in a sauna. Yeah. Okay? More yes. like, like that. It's okay. And uh, the other things we are going to use is warm milk. This is going to be like 100 uh, milliliters, half a cup. We are going to use four cups of the whole grain and the wet grain and uh, it it's better when you find this kind of wet that it's more uh, thicker because the thin one is not going to make consistency and when you use thicker ones you can create more space when you use very uh, fine. fine it's going to be uh, collapsing. This thicker can create, uh, can sustain the the space. Okay, and this is three fourth of uh, three fourth cup of sesame seeds. Right. Sesame seeds, and this is amaranth. Okay. We can use uh, flax seed. We can use uh, sunflower seeds. We can Instead use. Of amaranth? Sorry? Instead of the Yeah. But the thing is that each of these seeds have uh, has different properties, okay? And uh, we are using amaranth because we want it more nourishing for exercise and this kind of stuff. Okay. The most important thing is that all these things that are coming in are going to come in lukewarm temperature. In the same temperature as the yeast. Okay? okay? You can think about sauna temperature it's a little bit hotter than the body temperature yeah. would be a hundred one hundred twenty four hand for hands around 36 37 
38 Celsius. Okay? Or More a, or less. Sauna, a sauna at the gym. Yeah. Like, oh, well, a steam bath. A steam room yeah. at the gym is about no more than 114. Yeah, around 10, that. 110. 110, it's okay. Saunas can... So it's saunas it's very hot, yeah. but it's a, still the temperature that we can live in. So yes. the yeast can also survive, okay? Now we have the yeast uh, being more fluffy, being more spongy. It can be more spongy than that, but this is not a problem. And here we have the half cup warm milk, right? Okay. This we are going to add slowly and tenderly. Everything goes very, very softly. And uh, by the time that we heat this flour, we are going to create air here. We are going to be creating air, so we have a very good whole wet bread, but this is going to make it more soft, okay? I'm going to be doing this like for two minutes, and then we are going to uh, add the wet flour, the four cups. So now we finish rocking the yeast, and the, there is a lot, much more gas on it, it's much more space for the flour to come. So here it's hot because Warm. yeah it's on good temperature, a little bit above hand temperature and we are adding in a very um, easy, it's not going to shock the yeast we are moving slowly so it can get its temperature and not have any kind of disturbance saying oh who are you, who are you? <laughs> so go gently because it's not to drown the yeast you see it's just like mmm so charming so tender Mmm, so yummy. So, what we are going to add is just a little bit, so you don't need to warm it, because... Uh, Oops. Let me see how much, let me see how much you put in. Too much. My handle? Okay. And what kind of salt is that? This is the uh, rock and uh, what's the name? Himalayan. Himalayan salt. Now we start to add the oil with some water, okay. just a little bit. And now we have a more complex stuff here, so I'm going to be adding the flour with less um, care. Okay. I'm not going to be so scared now because, because the yeast already said, okay, there's going to be some wet here. I understood this part now. And uh, we need to now come and see this. We need to keep some alternate alternating to have the proper stop point. This is the part that I maybe we're going to use. A little bit more wet, a little bit more oil, a little gotcha. bit more this, okay. a little bit more that. Yeah, a little bit So flour, this a when uh, so when you use like this, you put a uh, some of it, some of that, some of it, some of that. Uh -huh. It diminishes the chance of you getting trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> because you're maintaining more or less the proper uh, texture. You see? Yes. Look here. Now it's okay. getting uh, more um, dry. So now we are using the less seeds, the amaranth seeds. Okay. And with the amaranth seeds, there is no problem to go from the sesame or the amaranth seeds in the first or second. But usually we go from the things that are bigger to the things that are smaller. Right. 
Right? Yeah, because right. it's smaller. And if it was mm -hmm. not so warm, the temperature here, I could uh, warm the sesame and the our end seeds also. But here, my hand is feeling the same temperature. Good. Okay? Now, the and pan you put it in is what? Sorry? What pan will you put it in? Wait, what is pan? Um, to cook it, to bake it? Yeah, we are going to use uh, one special one to okay. put on the oven. Okay. Okay? So now, we have almost the consistency that we desire. Mm-hmm. It looks very good. What is the consistency that we desire? Is when it's not so sticky to the hand. Right, you need a little more flour. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit more flour. Uh, the consistency is still a little bit more sticky than it's proper. So we're going to put an extra of wet, but it's just an extra. It's not a full, okay? We, we are looking for the consistency that it does not stick so much in the wall of the pot. So when we have this consistency, it starts to be cracky, but it only starts to be cracky. It's not cracky still. Come and see. The mass here is starting to get more. Pulls away from the bowl. Yeah. More dry, you see? Mm -hmm. Look how it's different. Yes. And you can see the yeast pulling together. Yeah. Good. And uh, look, you can still find some flour here that is not mixture. It's a good sign. It's saying that uh, it, the mass is not getting the wet so easily. Good. You have to go with the parts that are wet there so you can um, absorb it. This, I think it's a good, it can be a little bit drier, but uh, for now it's okay for us to go here because we are going to do this. We are going to still use some wet, some flour here, but it's going to be uh, absorbing very, look, now it's very different the consistency, right? Yeah. Very, very different. It's much more like a cake now. Uh -huh. Right? So, okay. This we can put over because now it's going to be the most adventurous and funny mm -hmm. part. You see, this mo movement, it, you should go with uh, all your fingers. <laughs> and we go to touching every step. Because if you go too abruptly, it can... Oh man, now to... F this part is not easy to fix anymore. If you miss the point here, it's going to be tough to get on the right way. Ready? Yeah. It's going to be 20 miles. <laughs> Out of the way. Yeah. Uh, before start, you, have the, you have a, a new return to go to the side that you want. Yeah, it's possible. You can take care of your health by online counseling. Namaste.